On this video today, I'm gonna show you how to make money with YouTube Shorts without ever showing your face or creating any of the videos yourself. And you can do this and earn thousands of dollars every single week, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. And you can do this by creating YouTube Short videos and never showing your face. Step one, you need to pick a profitable niche. Step two, I'll show you how to copy and paste to create these viral videos from scratch. Step three, as your video is finished, you want to come over to your channel and you want to upload your videos onto your channel. Before we get to the actual video however, if you happen to like this content and would like to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. To keep up to date with my uploads, click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's get started. You see, the method I'm going to show you today on how to make money with YouTube Shorts is absolutely booming and people are creating YouTube Short videos and everything is absolutely taken off and this is one of the easiest ways to make money with YouTube Shorts that I've ever seen. So make sure you watch this entire video as I'll go through everything step by step and teach you how to easily monetize your channel for free and get views real quickly with just a few clicks. Like I said in the intro today, I want to show you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make money with YouTube Shorts without showing your face and creating these videos or using your own voice. For those of you that don't know what YouTube Shorts are, they are vertical videos created to be used on your phone. The reason for this is YouTube wants to compete with the rise of TikTok and also Instagram Reels. For this reason, we're seeing a lot of YouTube Short videos absolutely taken off. I mean, if you look at this video over here, this has had 216,000 views in just the last 12 hours and if you scroll down, this is not something that's just happening once. This is not a coincidence. If you scroll down, you'll find other videos that in 6 days have had 14 million views and 1.3 million views and if you scroll down, 1.3 million views etc. And these videos are absolutely taken off. Let me show you how some people have incorporated YouTube Shorts before I get into this entire step-by-step -step tutorial to show you the power of this model. If we take a look at this channel over here, it's called Hi. The guy's name is Zong and if you look here, he gets hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube Short videos but it wasn't always like that for this channel. If we go over here and scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see that this channel started about 2 years ago but he only posted a handful of videos up until 5 to 8 months ago. As you can see here, and actually only 5 months ago did he post his first YouTube short video. When you look over here, his previous videos over time get a fair amount of users. A few videos over here, over 100,000 and 200,000 views but when he posted his first YouTube short video, he got 28 million views. The next video got 41 million views and the rest is history. If you have a look over here, a lot of his videos get tens of millions of views on a regular basis. In fact, if you come over here to socialblades.com, have a look at how quickly this channel has blown up. If you come over here and take a look at how many subscribers this channel used to get. If you have a look here, this is the total subscribers on a weekly basis. You can see that he was getting about 1 to 2, sometimes 5,000 subscribers on a weekly basis. And then when we come over here and when he started posting his YouTube short videos about 5 months ago, we can see here that he went to 3,000 subscribers a week. And then he just kept absolutely taking off to the point where he peaked at about 307,000 subscribers in a single week. And when you take a look at the total video views over here, you can see he was averaging about at peak before about 100,000 views a week and then it went down to about 18,000 and average at about 20,000 videos a week. Once he started posting YouTube Shorts about 5 months ago, you can see that he started to get millions of views every single week and at its highest peak, 261 million views on YouTube Shorts. This is the power of this model and why I want to walk you through and show you exactly how you can do this to make money on YouTube Shorts. So if you follow this entire strategy, you'll be able to get started after watching this video. So the first thing that you need to do when you're on YouTube is you need to pick a niche that you really want to get into and there are so many different niches that you can start with YouTube Shorts to make really good money and the one I'm going to talk you through on this video is a really good niche to start but I want to show you how to research some other niches. So if you come over here and you put in hashtag shorts and then you come over here and you hit the plus button, 
what's gonna happen is you're gonna see all these different topics and niches that are gonna come up that you can look into for yourselves to start a channel. The other thing that you can do is if you hit the space bar over here, you can very easily, if you don't find something, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not doing well. For example, if I press A, affiliate marketing is gonna come up. If I press C, cat and cryptocurrency is gonna come up. These are all different issues that you can explore just very easily pressing one letter. You can see here you've got hashtag short facts, funny dogs, fitness, etc. If you press T, you're gonna find TikTok and you're gonna find travel and the niche that we're gonna explore today with YouTube Shorts is the travel niche. And there's a number of different reasons for that because with YouTube Shorts and travel, there are so many different ways that you can monetize your YouTube Shorts channel and I'll walk you through that on this video. So if you come over to YouTube and you type in travel and you have a look at the traditional form of videos, you can see here that travel gets a lot of views which means if these videos get a lot of views then YouTube Shorts has the potential to get 10 times more views in this niche. If you put up really good content, if you're consistent and you know how to monetize this, you can make some really good money with this niche. So what you want to do is you come over here, you type in hashtag shorts plus travel. You can come over here and then you can have a look at all the different videos over here that people are currently putting up and how many video views they're getting. As you can see, this person over here has got 173,000 views. If you come over down here, somebody has got 61,000. Only one week ago, this person posted this video over here and they've got 23,000 views. So the first thing that you must do is you need to pick a niche and then you need to create a channel. Once you've done that, you're ready to start creating your videos. Now let's say that the first video that we wanted to create on our travel YouTube short channel is on France. Let's say we wanted to do something about things to do in France. The next step in this, what you need to do, step 2, in this is you need to do some keyword search. Keyword research always comes before the actual videos are created. In order to do a keyword search, you want to come over here and you want to download this software over here called VidIQ. This is going to help you see exactly what keywords are taken off and make sure that you're not competing for keywords that you're not going to be able to get your video to potentially rank for and no one's going to be able to see it. What I mean by that is if we come over here to the back office of my vidIQ and let's say I come over here and I type in something like things to do in France. So once I hit enter over here, what we're going to find is all these different keywords. Now you can type in things to do in France, 10 best things to do in France, France travel tips. All the different things, you can go and search for things on Google and what happens is, as you can see here, once we type in things to do in France, you can see here that the search volume for things to do in France is searched almost 23,000 times every single month and competition for this is really low. Now you only need a few keywords to tell YouTube where to potentially push this content and it doesn't matter that it's a YouTube short video, people will still search for this stuff and your videos will still come up and this will get you organic views. Okay, so a few of the keywords that we can potentially use here which have good search volume and low competition is things to do in France. As an example, when you scroll down here, you've got best things to do in France. As well over here, you can also do these ones but are high competition etc. And you would absolutely take all these smaller ones as well. Because with a small channel, you can't compete with the bigger channels yet. You want to grow and you want to take all these views over here that you can while you're a small channel which is going to get watch time and subscribers. So as we know over here, now what we're going to do is we've got our keyword over here which is things to do in France. So what we want to do now is we want to search for different things that we can do in France and we want to create a video on this. So what you want to do is you want to come over to Google over here and you want to type in something like fun things to do while in France or things to do in France. It doesn't really matter and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to take a look at some of the websites, travel websites and find different things that you can do in France as an example. From this, we're gonna create our first video. So if we come over here and remember, we're doing a YouTube short video. So when you look at something that says 19 top rated tourist attractions in France, you can create the top three things to do while in France. So what you wanna do, let's say we wanna click onto this link over here. This is gonna bring us over to here and you can see the number one is watch the sunset Eiffel Tower. 
if we scroll down over here, Sign River Cruise. And number 3 over here is, Stroll Through the Charming Old Quarters of Paris. So what we can do is, let's concentrate on these three things, and then from there, what we can do is, if we have more space in our YouTube short video, we can potentially add a couple more things if you wanted to. Now, the best place to go create these videos, and the next step with this is obviously to create a video, is you want to come over to canva.com. And when you come over to Canva, what you want to do is, you want to make sure that you choose the mobile video format in order to create these videos. As you can see here, when I hover over TikTok here, you can see it says 1080 by 1920. TikTok video 1080 by 1920. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose, it's still gonna create the right size for our videos. So let's say if we were to click onto this one over here as an example, it's gonna bring up this format over here and this is exactly what we need to create these videos. Now, in order for us to be able to create these different types of videos, we need some photos again. As you can see from over here, these were the top three places that we're gonna create our video on. So what you wanna do is you wanna come over to Google over here. You're gonna type in Eiffel Tower and you wanna go to images. You wanna repeat the process for the Seine River over here and also for the old quarters over here. As you can see, these are all the different images and you wanna find some images. You wanna make sure that you're not using copyrighted images. All you need to do is come over here, click onto tools over here, go to usage right over here and choose the right license for yourself to make sure that you're using a Creative Commons license and you're still going to be able to find a lot of images that you're going to be able to use. Once you download all these images, as you can see if you click onto this, you want to come over here and you just want to click on Save Image As. This is going to save this image onto your computer. Once you've saved all that, I have already to save us a little bit of time. What you want to do is, you want to come over here to Uploads and you want to upload all these images over here. So I'm just going to go to Upload Media and then from there, I'm just going to go to Device over here. From there, I'm going to go to Pictures and I'm going to upload to Canva all the different images that I've uploaded. Alright, as you can see, now I have downloaded all these images over here and what we're going to do is, we're going to create our video clip right now. So the first thing you want to do is just want to grab any one of these clips over here. Let's just run with this one over here. And as you can see, that's going to be the first clip that we have over here. And as you can see, you can create how long you want this scene to go for. So if you come over here, you can very easily create that onto 7 seconds. And then you can come over here and you can animate these scenes as well. Which means you can make this image over here. You can make it pan, you can make a photo zoom, etc. So if you click onto photo zoom as an example, and then you come over here, and then what you can do, if you want to play this, you come over here and you click onto this, and as you can see, it's zooming out. That gives it that effect to make it look a lot better. So what you want to do from here on is you want to put some text. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to come over here to text, and the first thing that you want to do if we come over here, Let's just click onto this heading over here. We want to move this up to the top. We want to change the color of this because we want this to be white. So I'm going to create white and the first thing that we want to do is we want to put over here three things you must see in France. And then obviously you can come over here and you can minimize this and you can stretch this out just so that it looks a little bit better here. So three things you must see in France. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to add some scenes. So you want to come back over to Uploads and then you want to click onto the second scene over here and you want to add the Eiffel Tower over here and then what you can do is you want to come back over to Text over here and again, you can very easily put some text over here and then you can put Number 1. Like this, just put Number 1 and you can very easily just come over here and just copy this just to save us some time. And then, you can very easily just paste that in there. Now, if you come over here, now as you can see, it is a bit dark over here. You can very easily just move that down to here. And then, you can come over here to Elements. And then, you can just grab this shape over here as an example. So, we can move that down over to here. Just so that this stands out a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go and I'm going to complete these scenes with all three of these different images these different three places and then I'm gonna show you exactly what this is gonna look like but the process is exactly the same you add a new scene and then you add the text 
Alright, so I've just finished this very simple video and as you can see, we're currently at 37 seconds which is perfect. Now we need to add some audio. Now for audio, you can very easily come over here. Canva does have some audio that you can use which is perfect for this stuff. So once you click onto audio, all you need to do is come over here and test some of this audio. As you can see, some of it's paid, some of it's free. So if I play this clip over here, Okay, this clip is pretty good. So what we need to do is just drag it and drop it over here. So I'm gonna pause this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this so I can show you exactly what this is gonna look like. As you can see, each different image is gonna have its own effect and you can change the effect on all of them. So as you can see, it's going to show you the river, etc. And it's going to show you all three of these. This is a 37 second video. This is interesting stuff that people are going to find very interesting. So I'm going to pause this over here. And the good thing about this is that this audio over here is going to follow the exact timeline of our images over here. So this is how simple it is to come over here to create one of these videos. From here, what you need to do is you need to come over here and you need to download this video so that we can upload it to YouTube. So all you need to do is come over here, click on download, leave it on MP4 video and we're gonna click on download and once we download this, we're gonna upload it to YouTube. And then I'm gonna show you in the part two of this video on how we're gonna monetize these YouTube Shorts videos so that you can make money from creating these videos. Let me download this video and I'll show you exactly what we need to do. So this video has just finished downloading. And this is all for today guys. Don't worry, I'll be teaching you on the second part of this video on how to upload this video in your YouTube Shorts so that you will create thousands of thousands of audience and there you can create thousands of dollars as well. But for now, if you want more money making videos, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell and right on that screen, you'll find additional videos showing you more amazing ways to make money online. Click on any one of these videos to start watching and I'll see you in the next video.